Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be installing NeoFetch on our Linux from scratch system, Kernel Panic OS. But before we continue any further, I'd like to thank my channel member. This is Mislav. They get LA access to videos such as this one right here. They get a little badge next to the name that shows that they support me. And they also get priority response to comments as well. I'd like to thank them. And now let's move on to actually progressing with the install. Now, as we are all know, NeoFetch is no longer being actively developed by Dylan Araps, but that's not going to stop me from using it because even though it's no longer actively developed and it has been publicly archived, it still works exactly as we expect it to. So why not install it? So for our Linux from scratch system, we need a few things. So if we just do NeoFetch, as we can see here, NeoFetch command not found. So we've got to pick a few to deal with. So for the dependencies for Linux from scratch, in this case, a systemd system, the required dependencies is bash 3.2 plus, which we have. Or if you're using Alpine Linux, you also need end curses. But in this case, we don't. Because I'm not going to be getting it to display any images, uh, I do not need any of the software needed for image display, so we can move on further from that. Uh, we do not need, in this case here at the moment, I do not need any a desktop environment uh, compatibility, because again, as you can see here, there is genuinely no desktop environment. It's just the basis. So we can also choose if we want to install some music compatibility so actually get it to show the mute or if there's any music being played in this case we can or we don't we can or but we don't have to uh in this case i will select mpd as the song player to get it to show up so to do that it's just scratch uh search mpd and as we can see here, MPC or MPD, minimal co uh, command line preference, will interface to MPD. So we'll install MPC in this case. So it's scratch install MPC. Uh, I will do a video on actually installing MP or installing scratch package. Uh, it is so short, I could probably make a short out of it. But in this case, it's just make the rate three slash bar lib scratch package and then slash db. Whoop. There. And then once again, tell it to do. As you can see here, it's just going to go through and install everything because the way I have my system set up, it shouldn't it'd take barely any time at all. Now, this is just to get the software for the music player to be recognized by NeoFetch. It is just a choice. You get plenty to choose from. In my case, I'm just choosing this one because it's supported by a command line. Now, whilst it goes through, we can decide what more if we want to. Um, in this case, we could choose if we also wanted the public IP to be displayed in NeoFetch. In my case, I'm not going to because uh, I'm not comfortable sharing my public IP. Uh, with our graphics card support to be shown inside NeoFetch, we would have to install LSPCI, which again is a reasonable uh, bit of software. It's probably already installed on your Linux system, as is. So once this is done, we'll just give it a quick search. As we can see here, build success end curses. I will more than likely need that at some point in time anyway. So. We'll just log into the second terminal and just do a quick LSPCI. As we can see here, not found. So it is not currently installed. So we'll just do scratch packet or scratch search, search LSPCI. Okay, so in this case, we won't have the graphics card being displayed because apparently I don't have LSPCI and need to manually install that. Again, that's entirely fine. So it's just something to take into consideration when 
installing NeoFetch on maybe your own Linux from scratch system. This is my one, and this is currently being actively developed. That's that's the best way I can describe my system. Actively developed is the quickest and easiest way to describe this one. So in this case, whilst we wait for this to finish downloading, what we'll do, well, finish installing even, what we will do is we will actually download the system. Now, to do that, we've got a few choices, but we are just going to get the latest available release and install it. So, we will cd into home ls. As we can see, that's where I've got scratch package. We will do make, we will do git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Dylan a wraps slash neofetch. And as we can see here, could not open M4, no such file or directory. Don't worry about that. That is a problem for future me. Future me already hates uh, past me for that. Actions have consequences and all that jazz. As we can see here, it's just flying through. So whilst that does fly through, we'll have a quick look inside NeoFetch. So CD NeoFetch. I don't know why I was about to type CD inside NeoFetch, but NeoFetch. And as we can see, this is genuinely just NeoFetch. So if we do cat readme, as we can see here, it comes to, it comes with all of the markdown stuff. The overall purpose is for system diagnostics and inside uh, the well, take screenshots to show off your system, yada yada. So again, whilst we wait for that, we can install NeoFetch, but I'm going to hold off on that one because. Trying to install one bit of software that's relying on another bit of software that's not yet installed is probably not a good idea, considering the fact that NeoFetch uh, installs pretty, pretty quick. So, whilst this goes through, I'd like to say maybe consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button if you've liked the video so far, dislike if you disliked it, both of them seem to work. Uh, my kernel, my operating system kernel panic from scratch gets streamed on a weekly basis at Saturday 9 p.m. GMT until midnight uh, GMT on the, of that of the Saturday. So we just got to wait for this to run through. Whilst we do, don't forget to have something to drink, preferably liquid and preferably water, or any drink you have to hand. In my case, I have a cup of coffee in my hand. Here we go. Good coffee. So now we just need to wait for this to scroll through. So it is whilst it is a shame that NeoFetch is no longer being actively developed, it is good to know that it is absolutely still available on package managers as well as still on GitHub by the developer who's who has only publicly archived it instead of killing it off in its entirety, which is nice to see and as it is something that does work on my own system i am considering uh making or considering forking it so i can use it myself so just gotta wait for this to finish flying through so it'll be fine it's already taken six minutes, that's way too long. So let's install NeoFetch. So to install, to actually install NeoFetch, uh, what we will need to do is we have a choice. In my case, I am uh, using the, I, I, brain, catch up. I'm using the bleeding edge version. So to actually install this, what we will need to do is we'll need to feed it some instructions for installing. So to do that, what we'll need to do is, I'm including my usual time, make install, and then prefix, well, uh, 
Make install. And then, oh, hang on. I've got to think about how, to, how I do this now, because I should know how to do this. Oh, hang on. So I'm just referring to some of my previous. Yep. So I make install hyphen hyphen prefix equals slash user. And then what we want to do is just do that. As we can see here, make install. Uh, this program is built for x86-64, which is. So in this case, just do make install. Make install. Near fetch. Bada bing. There we go. As we can see here, the OS is registering as uh, Kernel Panic 1.0 SysD. So that is my System D variant. I may also produce a System V variant as well because I've had issues with System D. Got to love it. As we can see here, there is only one core being reported. So that is an issue for future me to figure out. But that is genuinely how you install uh, NeoFetch on a Linux from scratch system or just how you install it on your own without going through Package Manager. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. They both seem to work even though you can only see one of them. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick, you have been amazing. And I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night. Good whatever it is, wherever you are, goodbye.